you out. <laughs> <laughs>
Excuse me? Not you, the bee. Just calm down. There are a lot of them. <laughs> but I am prepared. <clears throat> In hypno container <clears throat> detected.
Happy. Ah, what is happiness if not a disease of fools? Uh, you lost me on that one. Wait, you seem like a man of power. Do you wish to possess the world's most powerful weapon? The world's most powerful weapon? <laughs> okay, what is it? You will see with your own eyes. I will give you its location, and in return, you will give me all your money. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what is money compared to such a priceless thing? It buys me food and drink, keeps me from starving. I can go on. Fine. Two hundred and a money-back guarantee. And if you do not value the weapon as I have, I shall return your money. Will you accept my challenge? Okay. I'm in. Look for chests hidden on the overpass overlooking East Horseshoe and the roof of the office building close by. The last one you open will contain the world's most powerful weapon. Search and you shall find it. Shit, this won't be easy.
They were the first to go dark in 23. Probably all dead. A sparker card. I know exactly who's looking for this. Hey, I'm that pilgrim. What's wrong? It was you? <laughs> Great. We got our ration today, but Maria here wants to use it all to wash her hair. Because I can't stand another fucking day like this. Just because you don't mind hair like a sheep overdue for shearing, doesn't mean... All I want is to water the plants, Maria. What good will your shiny hair be if you starve to death? It's gonna rain tonight. I'm sure of it. You'll use up the water and then it'll rain. Those plants don't need that much water anyway. It's your way of showing me you don't care about my needs. Hey, well, what if it doesn't rain? It will. I'm sure of it. How? When did you become the local weather girl? I can feel it in my bones. I guess we need to keep our emotions in check to make rational decisions. What's that supposed to mean? You're the one who started talking about feeling the rain in your bones. And it's obvious you would be happy living in a pigsty. Okay, ladies, I'll leave you to it.
Now I can get my own Sparker card. a goner till you showed. Here. I found your fake cards. Now let me see what you made me look like. Like the prince you are. Here's your Sparker card. Check it out. Come back here later. If you want to meet the people that liked your Sparker profile. for the Sparker card? What are you looking for on Sparker? What do you mean? Well, you know, some people are only here for one reason. It'd be nice to meet someone, you know, become friends, and then... we'll see. That's how you think of me? That's kind of cute. Maybe we can go for a walk? Uh, well, listen. Would you mind watching my son sometimes? His name's Jacob. Wait, what? Wouldn't you like to spend some time with him? Thirteen-year-olds aren't that bad. It's the best age, actually. You could show him some parkour tricks, some combat. You know, Jake could use a father figure. Wait, hold up. You're on Sparker, because you're looking for a babysitter? He's not a baby. Haven't you been listening? Anyway, I told you I got this job on a farm. So what would you say to a bag of potatoes per hour? I'm sure you've got a great kid, and hell, I'd even like to help you, but... There's just too much going on with me right now, okay? Sure, Aiden, I get it. Good luck with all that. Ugh! <laughs> 
Found it. Oh, shit. Listen, Aiden. There's one more thing. I saw your face when you told me how I smell. You were lying, weren't you? What? Listen, I... Relax. It is what it is, I know. Rub myself a flat now. I really don't want to mess up this date with Madeline. I need perfume, Aiden. If you could go to the old pharmacy on Market Street, I'll be in your debt till the end of the world. If you do it, I've got something to give you. Trust me, you won't regret it. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, got the perfume. The horse? Uh, how you doing? Um, so the thing is, uh, so the situation's, um, has changed. Changed? Listen, Horace, if you ask me to fetch one more thing, I'd... Uh, no, no, uh, this isn't a chat for the radio. Come here as quick as you can. <coughs>
I mean, yeah, they got strong. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to have a word with my friend. Just don't keep me waiting. That's not Madeline, is it? I, I know what you're thinking, but it's not like that, Aiden. She's the one who came on to me. That bath, man. I think it gave me... It's the confidence, man. Women sense it. And what about Madeline? I love her, you know, but... I mean, did you check out Ada? Never even come close to a beauty like that before. And she's great to talk to. Uh, and we both like climbing. And she laughs at my jokes. I mean, not many do, mind you. She came up to me and just sort of latched on. Fuck. Fuck, who do I choose? Sometimes a bitter truth is better than a sweet-smelling lie. I mean, you barely met that Ada, right? But the way you looked at that picture of Madeline, and how you were still thinking of her after all this time, <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Yeah, you're right, I suppose. You're young, but I gather you've seen your share, being a pilgrim and all. Expedition to the outskirts. Some say the commander is dead. Sure am glad they didn't send me there. Turn back on. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Open that jet. <laughs> Damn biomarkers. <laughs> They're like chains. <laughs> Wish I could break free. Delicious. <laughs> 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 
Apparently not here. <laughs> Ugh. 
Where's this weapon? <laughs> that nut job has some splaining to do. Dead if not for you. Here, have this. You say, what's a con job but a shiny stone to a simpleton? I'll knock it out of your... Whence comes such anger? Wait, whence? I climbed like an idiot to the top of the viaduct for nothing. Don't you see? You've gained the most powerful weapon after all. It's perseverance. <laughs> what? The most powerful weapon in the world is perseverance, which you displayed when you climbed to the very top. And I paid you for that? Give me my money back. Perseverance will overcome the greatest difficulties, and lack of it will destroy you, as it has destroyed our world. Win the war faster, search the virus faster and sloppier. So what will it be? Would you sacrifice your perseverance just to get your money back? There was nothing there. Give me back my money. What is... My fist in your face, but the broken nose of a cheat. Right. I see. Here, here's your money. You have much to learn. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you got no one to lean on, that's when you know you hit rock bottom. <laughs> 